work life balance like that, no, no, we hear that so much Irish lads have to be the worst in the world you see yeah I, I fucking working for hard by <laughs> oh Christ Jesus I haven't been home now in, in a year and a half I haven't been fucking <laughs> I got about 12 minutes sleep now in the cab of the tractor and I was kind of red bull there and Jesus, your man is some bastard, boy. Ah, oh, uh, flogging me, boy. And Jesus, the fucking thing broke down and it was light and oh, Jesus, smoking fags and oh. I think... Um, Jesus, I haven't changed my clothes since I was nine years old, boy. I'm just... Oh, you, know, you have a fair handy to you, Eve. Oh, Jesus, I'm doing real work. I think, um, I think Irish people take so much pride in telling you how fucking busy they are and how, how hard they work. It's like a, ba- a badge of honour. Chisholm killed. Yeah. Whereas other nations are like... Like, see the Aussies. Like, I swear none of them work. They're so laid back. 100% man This is Irish people If you if you met an Irish person And well how are you nah, I'm not that busy I'm just taking things easy mm. like, What? Yeah Irish lads How are you? Jason killed Oh fuck Flat to the boards You have to be killed Yeah Oh yeah. Uh, murdered from work. Is it because We have a lot of farmers In Ireland and stuff And they, they You know They love hard work Yeah I think it's <laughs> It's definitely do. It's a load of, It's a badge of honour Like you know Oh I did You know Eight hours in the farm today Well you probably did Those eight hours Because you you know, you didn't fix up the fence in last week when you should have, and therefore the sheep broke out, and therefore that you had to spend three hours rounding them up from the neighbor. Let's not get personal, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could be listening. Yeah. That sounds like a very specific <laughs> example. Yeah, well, no, it's just like I remember my dad saying, I remember we're walking out of a football game or a football match, and uh, somebody who knew my dad was like, Oh, Larry, how are you? And oh, this is the daughter, she works in RTE. And daddy goes, oh, She claims to work there, and yeah, I was just like, oh. She didn't know what she was doing on her computer. I was like, I was like, I swear to God, if we weren't in public, I would have absolutely ripped him to shreds. Like, so, but that's the thing, like, it's a badge of honor. It's like, I just think that, you know, I, I, I don't think. I think you're better off being efficient. I do like the idea of a daily schedule. Like mm. I love a to-do list. And you, mm. you know, you know, if people don't get sent out their podcast mugs on time, it's because it's not on my list to do. So therefore, <laughs> just before this podcast, I was like, oh, better put that on there. So don't worry, you'll be getting your podcast mugs. There you go. Time. So yeah. We'll backlog. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Ah, but farming is one of those things where like, what if something happens at night? Like mates of ours will get a phone call oh, yeah, nine yeah. o'clock at night. Animal broke out. You have to go. You have to work. Yeah. And I, when I started making hurleys, it was a fair eye opener. I, I would try and finish at six in the evening. You might have a few phone calls to do. We'll be going train or something then. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, meat lads almost call in for hurley. I'd say, oh yeah, yeah, call in there any afternoons best. Mm. People were calling four o'clock, five o'clock. Farmers nine o'clock at night, ten o'clock at night, <laughs> half eleven at night. Well, you're round. Yeah. Let's get oh, that hurley man. off you 11 o'clock at night Only farmers did that They have no concept of time Because the cows aren't like Well you're five minutes late again <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not fucking giving you any milk now yeah. today no, It's gone It's gone yeah. No the cows be going mad If you don't milk them on time Because their yeah. udders get quite full So Okay like, Sorry But I think the farmers yeah. have so They won't be ringing you <laughs> <laughs> No they'll be standing at the gate Roar me <laughs> And like gnawing the head off you Ringing the home phone <laughs> put, put him on <laughs> He's put, Where is he? He's late again <laughs> Because there was a, here's what, the European Union has passed a working time directive that enforces a maximum 48 hour working week, including overtime. 48 hours a week. So obviously nobody has told farmers. <laughs> so first of all, 48 hours a week is way too long to be working. We do that every week. Yeah, that is true. Like, but like we don't have a choice. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we're in the backstreet boys, lad. Just, just someone just telling us this is where you need to be. Like the other day, I, it took me like 15 minutes to figure out it was Tuesday. <laughs> someone asked me a really straightforward question the other day. I was like, I'm so sorry. Just give me a second now. Yeah. yeah. But then you're still probably in the phase of your career, <laughs> career where you're trying to make it, like, you know, get to a particular point. Don't think we fucking made it? <laughs> well, like in <laughs> Ireland you have, but you just want to go bigger, like. So. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. you know, spread that love on Spotify. So. But just saying, 48 hour work week is supposed to be the maximum. Mm. Sure, La- how many like uh, last week we spent 27 hours in a car yeah and it wasn't for like telethon around you know it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't like a charity fundraiser <laughs> text in now it was just driving around like yeah. Yeah, just cruising N- there'd be nurses doing more than that like yeah. people in yeah. hospitality and hotels yeah. and waitresses and chefs and 
Nurses, all the farmers. Yeah, it was like, it's, it's healthcare even, yeah, doing like 24-hour shifts and mad stuff. Like, uh, look, and I'm, I'm not saying that me and Johnny have it hard here. Don't don't start writing in. Like, no, you, you, you two fuckers yeah. now. Everyone <laughs> thinks we have it handy and, and we know we know we are quite lucky. Okay, which country do you reckon has the best work-life balance? One of the Scandinavians, it has to be. Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. Are they Scan- They're not Scandinavian. Kind of. See, like somewhere like Finland, like they have really good, I think they have a four day working week there, but then, and they have like really good summers, but eight months of the year they're under snow, so you can't do anything. Yeah, you do much work. Yeah. I just see, I just see here in Iceland, a massive five year trial in Iceland exploring the effects of a shorter working week is reporting significant positive outcomes. Yeah. Hardly a shock. The results suggest cutting just four or five hours from a standard work week, work week can lead to dramatic increases in worker well-being and improvements in product productivity. I'm telling you, I worked in like making products mm. in the pharmaceutical place. Yeah. And they said, whenever you get all those products done, yeah. you can leave. Yeah. They had never seen anything like it. <laughs> the fucking problem was, this was a Friday. They were like, as soon as you get finished, you can go home. And then on Monday they came in mm. and like production is down. Like <laughs> massively by ninety percent <laughs> as to what it was Friday evening. Like so, yeah, you, you have to be careful as well. But if you say to someone, "Look, here's what you have to do for the week," and whenever you get it done, yeah, you're off. Yeah, like they'll do it well. They'll do it faster. I think so. Right, like that's, trust people. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like I know people make big things out of schedules. Like I used to be really like, "Oh, schedule and you know do this and do that." But you have to schedule in a bit of fun or crack. You have to schedule yeah. in Friday night pints. But I just say that, like on 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 these like trials and stuff that they're doing with the four day weeks, like the pay remains the same. Yeah, but I think this is only working because it's new, it's novelty. Mm-hmm. If you're used to a five day week and someone says, "Look, if you drive it on now, we'll get it all done in four days," but if you had a four day week for twenty or thirty years, you'd be looking for a three day week. Yeah, but like, let's just get a four day week first. You know what I mean? let's, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm going to be misquoting somebody here, but I think it was like Theodore Roosevelt or someone. He predicted back Soccer when. Soccer player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he, he predict- Theo Walcott, you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he predicted that, like, with all the advancements in technology, people in our thing would be only doing 15 hour work weeks, you know? So, you know, like, I could Fuck probably, you. you know, get most of my work done in 15 hours. But, like, the problem is, is when you're working on a computer, suddenly you're like, oh, I'll check my Facebook, oh, I'll check my Instagram. Yeah. But so like, I probably waste a lot of time rather than being actually productive. In a lot of jobs I don't like, like, if it... <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, is that too much truth? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I do get me. my work done. I haven't heard any complaints unless you oh, want to start dishing no. them out now. Maura, so. I'm, oh, not, I'm oh. not messing Maura. You could kill both of us and we wouldn't complain. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks, Maura. Really, really enjoyed that, Maura. Thanks. <laughs> Do you know who's got it right? Well, Spain and all the hot countries. Yeah. Having a snooze in the middle of the day. I knew that's what you were going to say. Siesta. Do you, do you ever go on holidays to Spain and there's you're staying somewhere and there's a lad doing maintenance? Yeah. He's only tipping. He's not breaking a sweat. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. There's there's all those countries now that I think of it. Like no one's fucking working hard. Like. I swear to God, even in foreign countries, I often look at the lifeguard and go. If I drowned, he's too lazy to come and fucking get me. He's just sitting there looking like he's in a Gucci ad. Tanned as shit. He's sitting on the oak texting on his phone. Yeah. Maybe smoking a fag, sipping one of those tiny coffees. Yeah. And then like, they're not, they're not going too hard. Man, I was only talking to somebody yesterday who was working in like engineering and parts and all. And they said, Usher, and we're waiting for stuff to come in from Italy. And you know the Italians, sir, they'll do it in their own time, like. But I, I'd much rather be part of a society like that. Now, look, Ireland does have a good rep for producing good workers worldwide. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're gone to such a stage now where it's like, I want it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas the Italians are all like, oh, what do you mean you want it now? We'll have a cup of tea and a yeah. small glass of wine and then argue about drafts for an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not all. <laughs> but do you think the reason we, you know, the we work so hard is that we drink so hard then? It's like, oh, we worked like... Flogged herself 60 hours this week, so I have to like drink 60 pints this weekend to balance out the work crack levels. When I was working, that was it, yeah. There was no sweeter pint than going, a full week's work done. Mm. And you feel like you really earned it. Now, look, I've drank pints when I had no job as well. They just weren't as sweet. Yeah, the Spanish lads take it easy. They have like a little glass of wine at lunchtime. Yeah. You know, and then it's, the siesta and nap, and then they go back to work. Any job where you can have a glass of wine at lunchtime is you're, you're <laughs> not working hard. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're living lately. You're winning. Retirement, John. 
Yeah. How do when do when do you know to get out? Look, this see, this came up. Yeah, the reason this topic came up is in in one of the twenty seven hours that we spent in the car, we were like, how much? Like we're obviously complaining, been like fucking hell, we never get home or whatever, and we were like, um, who's got who who's got handy around the town? Round care. Who's living life right with their work life balance? And then we were like. Such and such has. And we're like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's involved in the GA. Yeah, he, he does a bit and he sits outside the cafe. He, you know, he has a cup of tea, whatever. That looks, that looks pretty. Then it was like, actually, he's retired. And then it was like, no, and, and I have another lad. And then it was like, no, he's retired as well. So basically, retired people have a nice. We couldn't think of anybody standard. still working in our town <laughs> who had a nice work life balance. They were all flat out. Mm. Mm. Every single one of them. Everyone I know is flat out. But like, you, what, I think it that, has. I think yeah. it has to change, like, because these are your best years. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, when you're fifty-five or sixty and you retire, and you're still in good shape, yeah, you know you what I mean. As in, like, you can travel, you can walk, mm-hmm. you can do all that. But I mean, when you're thirty and forty, you're in an even better position. Yeah, but you probably got a lot of children. Or a lot of fucking kids, man. Yeah. Then you go all and some prick lands you with grandkids. <laughs> Fuck. When I get older, when I when I get to like sixty, if I if I have grandkids, I'll be like. I'll see them on on like a Friday or a Wednesday. Communions. Yeah, they don't fucking talk to me. Any, I'm I'm too busy sitting outside a cafe drinking drinking coffee and reading the newspaper. That's exactly what I want. Start to. reading the business paper. Yeah, just just broadsheets. I'll only I'll you can only obviously read broadsheets once you go over fifty five. You can't read you can't read like tabloids. Start wearing slacks. Yeah, and like sandals and socks. Yeah, that's that's when you're really that's when you know you're you, when you you're get up really, in the morning and you put on a shirt for no reason. Oh, you wear shirts, man. And vests. Yeah, I don't knock on the vest now, but a shirt and a nice pair of slacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what I mean? Like, Roll on retirement. Is that your experience too? That most people are like flat out? Yeah, well, thinking of my male friends there. Well, I have one friend who's an act. Oh, I'm going to. Sorry. Come but on. He's, we can beep it out. No, 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 no. I just say you're going to slag him off now, but he works as a college lecturer and that is. A, handy number like that's yeah. you know like it's we have know. a friend who does the same thing yeah and it's it's nice but then I have another friend who's trying to build a business and then my female friends like have obviously children and they're just absolute I'm trying to think of a nicer word than poxes but you know like <laughs> <laughs> you know they're a lot of work like you know so like, they they're your lonely children, children but my god like one of them started drinking out of a puddle and the other day in front of me and it's like is she supposed to be drinking out of the puddle and friend was just like I've given up so. <laughs> how do we, okay can we open this up then to listeners how do you find a work life balance if someone has a nice little work life balance please honestly share your secrets who's with got us. a handy job who's got, who's got handy jobs that's what we want to know 